let's talk about good and evil. So we've touched on this subject a little bit in previous videos. Let's recap. The creator no longer wanted to be alone, so it split itself off and appeared to be separate entities. As separate entities, we created this illusory universe. It's an illusion, it's not real, it's a hologram. And part of the process of returning home to the creator is the choice. We talked about the choice in the last video. The choice is of vital importance. It doesn't matter which choice you make. What matters is that you make the choice. Not making the choice is not growing. What is the choice? The choice is good and evil. Now that's the last time I'm going to use those terms in that way because good and evil doesn't work the way we think. As always, I'm gonna put my sources in the comments below. I'm getting a lot of this stuff, a lot of the, the details of how it works from the Ra Contact, Teaching the Law of One, which is a book I can't recommend enough. But I've also confirmed it to my satisfaction in a lot of other books. So the Ra Contact doesn't say good and evil. It says service to others, service to self, good, evil. And if you look at like a cult YouTube videos, or they're probably on TikTok too, but I don't use TikTok. You will see people talking about the right-hand path and the left-hand path. The right-hand path is positive, left-hand path is negative. Now it's important to understand that there is actually no judgment. Following the left-hand path doesn't make you like evil and, and somehow corrupted and, and contagious and toxic and bleh. What it means is that you've rejected oneness. That's the real difference between the two. The positive, the right-hand path, is acceptance that we are all one. And the left-hand path, the negative, is rejection of the oneness, the belief in separation. Now, you might be struggling with this, understandably, because it's a little bit contradictory to say that you believe in this stuff, you believe that the universe is what it is, that it's an illusion that we ourselves created so that we can learn and grow and return back to the creator and yet still believe in separation. How do you do that? <laughs> this is how I think it can work. This, this is what makes sense to me. So, service to others, the positive path, right-hand path. Judge not others, for you were both created by God. Service to self, the negative path, the left-hand path. Judge not others, for you are God, and you created them. To my mind, that's the only way we can make it work. All right, I want to slip in here why I'm even talking about this. Because I think a lot of people would have an aversion to even entertaining the left-hand path. So this is where we come back to Star Wars. And the Ra Contact actually talks about Star Wars. The, the interviewer asked, does it work the way it does in Star Wars with the dark side of the force and the light side of the force? And Ra said, yes, it does. But suggests that Star Wars is kind of like a children's book. <laughs> so it's a very simplistic understanding of how this stuff works. So the reason I'm even discussing this, that I'm entertaining the notion of the negative path, the left-hand path, is because there is actually no judgment. Both paths will get you back to the creator eventually. However, like I said in my last video, those who follow the left-hand path, the negative service to self will eventually, like many lifetimes after this one, they will have to switch back to the positive, to service to others because that's what the creator is. So I consider the left-hand path, the negative, a uh, side quest. <laughs> There's no judgment for those who follow it. I don't envy them because it's not an easy life. So just like in Star Wars, you have the Jedi and the Sith, but it's uh, a pretty simplistic, rigid, binary explanation of it. But we'll delve into it deeper in a second. So the Sith are few in number, the Jedi are great in number, just like it works in the real world. We don't have a 50-50 split of service to others, 
positive individuals and service to self negative individuals because we don't need it. Remember what I said in the last video, the, the reason the choice exists is so that we can, we can grow, we can move forward. If we don't have a choice, we don't grow. And sometimes we need the negative to help us grow. We need that, that catalyst to push us forward. And that's what the service to self negative individuals are here for. So in a very real sense, they are serving us in a roundabout way. They may not think they are, but they are. And for that, I am personally grateful because I know what their life is like for making that choice and I don't envy them. So you can absolutely see the left-hand path service to self folks as making the ultimate sacrifice for the betterment of the whole, which kind of makes it funny in their rejection of oneness, in their belief of separation, they're contributing to the growth of the one <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, which is, which is, it's funny. It's cute. It's cute. And I'm grateful. Okay. So back to Star Wars, how do they present the Jedi? Well, it, I believe it was in Attack of the Clones. Uh, Anakin's talking about how the Jedi are encouraged to love. That's it. That's very much how the service to others path works. The, the, light, the positive, the right-hand path, it is love for all. Now, Star Wars corrupts it so that they are forbidden from having specific love and positive-oriented people are not forbidden from having specific love by any stretch of the imagination. So in that regard, being a, a light worker, as it's come to be known, or a positive entity, following the right-hand path, is really more like being a gray Jedi. The negative, the left-hand path, however, is pretty close to, to the way the Sith are portrayed. But again, the, the Sith are the caricatures of it. So the, the basic idea of it is that the left-hand path folks never really open up their ability to love. It's about domination. And that doesn't even have to manifest as a violent act. It can simply be someone who is charismatic and persuasive and encourages others to willingly submit to them. That is still within the purview of the left-hand path, the negative. Yes, you can absolutely be an absolute savage Genghis Khan type. <laughs> that's obvious. That's like caricature of the left-hand path. But you don't have to. The lines between dark and light are a lot more blurred. And it comes down to intent a lot of the time. For example, giving to charity because you just want to help people is a positive act. Giving to charity because you want to brag to the world that you're a good person is actually a negative act because you're drawing power to yourself. And that's another thing. The positive typically will emanate, will radiate, will give. The negative will take. Now, again, I want to remind you, there is no judgment here. We need both. It's not good versus evil. Good must eradicate evil. It's not about that. We need each other. It's about the balance. It's like electricity, positive and negative. We need both, but we don't need that many negative. <laughs> and that's why it usually manifests as a handful of negatively oriented people who tend to try to control the rest of us. Now, I see a lot of posts in occult groups, bless them. It's posts like, oh, how do I protect against negative entities and this and that? If you have no fear, then you have nothing to fear. When you give in to fear, 
of the negative, it has control of you. You're believing in separation. That's what it wants. I say it. It's not an it. It's, it's a concept. So how do you protect yourself against the negative? You may not like what I'm about to say. It is difficult. It's grating. You have to love it. Remember I said before that they've made the ultimate sacrifice for the sake of the rest of us? If you can think of it like that, it does make it easier. We need positive and negative. We need the negative catalyst to move us forward sometimes. When someone is, is trespassing against you, let's say, it's a very biblical, I've never said that before, that's a very biblical thing to say, but <laughs> it seems right. Be grateful. Be grateful that they have made the sacrifice that they live the way they do so that they can give you catalyst for growth. Okay, so I've mentioned them living the way they do a couple times. I'm going to go into that. So just like in Star Wars, the Sith are kind of not okay, <laughs> right? They've got the dark side rot. You know, when Palpatine has his <laughs> redirected back at him and he gets all weird and cripply, I think what's actually going on there I've, I've heard is it's it wasn't the lightning that disfigured him he was already like that because he's a sith right it's the dark side rot and he just had like a veil of of beauty over him and the the lightning just revealed his true form which is quite apt it's i, I like that it makes a lot of sense and that's not dissimilar to how how it actually works so let me put it this way if you believe in manifestation and all this stuff I've been talking about, which I'm going to assume that you do. We know that energy flows where your attention goes. So if you've devoted your life to the left-hand path, which is a life of, of dominion, of, of, of trying to dominate others and trying to encourage them or even force them to submit to you willingly, that's a life of conflict. So if your attention is on conflict, what do you think your life is going to look like? It's not a pleasant existence. You have to thrive on that shit. You have to thrive on conflict and, and dominion. That being said, following the right-hand path does not mean you have to be a Boy Scout. A lot of stuff has been labeled evil. And I think it's, it's getting worse. I'm hesitant to use the C word, but there's a culture of judgment that I think... Maybe it's not getting worse. It's always been there, but it's certainly being highlighted. And judgment, judgment is actually a left-hand action. It's a negative action. I'll break it down real easy and simple because I don't want you to be like, well, you know, what's good and evil? What's right and wrong? There has to be a line. There is a line. We don't take away people's free will. That is it. That's all you have to remember. That's the only rule you have to live by in order to follow the right-hand path. You don't have to be a Boy Scout. <laughs> you don't have to shed yourself of desire. Wanting things is not evil. Wanting stuff for yourself is not evil. Wanting to be rich, perfectly okay. Wanting lots of sex, <laughs> is fine wanting to dominate people not so much <laughs> so in high school i had a portuguese it teacher really cool guy and on the front of his classroom he had this quote my freedom ends where yours begins and that's always stuck with me it's true that's how this stuff works so coming back to Star Wars for a second, I know this is a meme, but from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> because they're, they're dominating, they're controlling their own people. Like, well, they're taking kids and indoctrinating them into this order and saying, you cannot take a wife or a husband or whatever. That's a, that's a 
negative action. So really, it's not Jedi versus Sith. It's not versus anything, really. But on the right hand, we have the Grey Jedi. Like Qui-Gon Jinn, my man. <laughs> and on the left hand, we have the Sith. As always, take what resonates, discard the rest.